everybody. Oh, I'm a little bit. I don't know what's going on. I see Alicia. I see Patricia. I see D'Angelo. I see Kelly. I see Lavinia. Hello. What is going on? Oh, it's my light. I'm like, I'm seeing this. Hold on. Let me turn these lights off. Let me turn you in there and give me some straight shadows. Okay, there we go. There we go. Because <laughs> that was crazy looking. I was like, what's going on? What's going on? Let me get the chat open. Hello, hello. Hey, Miffy. Hello, hello. Hi, Emmy. How are you? Oh, I got to take these toys. Okay, so normally we do Sunday decants, but today is Monday. I'm off this week. Did I leave that over there? Damn it. I'll be right back. This whole list. Alrighty. Alrighty, now we're back. Hello. Okay. So yeah. Hi, hi. Okay. So I got a list. You know, I got a sale going on. And so, so people hi Christy. So people have uh ordered decants. So we're gonna be decanting today. We're gonna see how many we can get through, talk a little bit. Baby, it's it's snowing here in Chicago. How's y'all weather? Because it has been snowing since early, early this morning. Yeah. I left the label maker over. Oh, dang, Taffy. No, no, my house. Listen, listen. I got that project heat going right now. It's nice and warm in my house. Nice and warm. So let me get some stuff ready. Let me get my little baggies together so I can put everybody's name on them. Where my baby's at? So I can see who I'm, what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just totally off right now. I am totally off, y'all. I want my labor makers over there. My scissors are over there. Okay. Hot in Hawaii. That's where you at in Hawaii? Oh, I am so jelly. I am so jelly. Well, you know, it is a mess all over. It's a mess all over here, honey. The whole I heard Texas is terrible. Let me just grab some of this. I'm trying to recycle more, but apparently I did not do this correctly. Baby, it has been snowing since early this morning. Hey Rachel, um, how did we miss this yesterday? It was Sunday. What did we do? Oh, I'm so off. Okay, I was, hi. Oh, I ain't going, I'm not going anywhere today. I am not going anywhere. How did I, weren't we supposed, what is it today, Monday? I tell you my weeks are off, I swear. Uh, yeah, it's been snowing forever. Um, Rachel, you know I'm talking to you because I'm like, hi, sh hi, Ham Maker, hi, Nakatha, how are you? Okay, so we have a lot of decants to do today. Hopefully, I can get out tomorrow, go some places. It's my, I know I'm talking to Rita Sunday. I'm supposed to be. I how did we how did I miss that? I was sitting. Hi, Lorraine. I was sitting here. What was I doing it to? What was I doing it to yesterday? I know what I was supposed to have been doing it to. I probably fell my ass asleep. That's what I did. I caught myself probably taking a, a nap and then totally lost track of time. I see 21 people in here for that. I need some likes. Okay. We're going to work this out. I'll text you later. Um, I'll be texting you because I'm like, what the hell just happened? Okay. Okay. I swear my days are running into each other. And I think I was so ecstatic not to have, um, not to have, uh, to work this week. Cause I'm off this week. 
I think I just lost track. And the in my, I had that in my agenda of things to do. Oh, I'm going to clean up, clean it up. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to see Ian. And then I was supposed to be babysitting for them to have their little, you know, Valentine's Day thing. Clearly, I missed that part because I did clean. I did wash. I washed towels and put them away. So before we get into all the decans, how was everybody's Valentine's Day? If you're into Valentine's Day, let me hear. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I got a great picture. Uh, what did I do with the label? Did I bring it back over here? Oh, it is here. Okay. I'm like, where's the label maker? Right? Hi, Venice. Yeah, it was like, and it was like, oh, my agenda of things to do. It was like, ugh. Jesus Christ. I swear. I have some shit to do today. Okay. You moving back to Georgia? Why were you in Hawaii? Okay. All right. So let's get started. I, I need to put names on these things. I need to get ready to... Oh, plus I got to ask you when I can come, when these streets, um, I'm thinking Wednesday or Thursday, Rach for us, Rachel for us, military. Hi, C. Marie. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Um, I was going to, I was going to come by. Drop off y'all stuff. Oh, that's right. Cause I ordered the other piece. That's what I needed. Right. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Everybody at home. How many people just chilling at home, okay? Just doing their thing. Just living their best home life. Because because besides that, it's it's a, um, you know, a lot of people are off today because it's President's Day. We have the whole week off. This is called our midwinter break. And Lord, we are happy, happy, happy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so so how was that uh, whole holiday thing? Okay, right. It's too cold here. To, it's pretty, well. It's just snowing. It's been snowing since early this morning. Right, girl. Ain't we all snowed in? We are all snowed in. I ain't leaving the house. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Not at all. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Hi, Topaz. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, so we're going to talk fragrances. For some people that don't know, I have a sale on decants. Buy five, get two, get 20% off um, until Saturday. So people have ordered quite a few decants. I got some different ones. I got different ones this time, which is good. Because, you know, I sell a lot of the same things. So I'm getting my little baggies together to put their stuff in. Um, this is, I'm, I'm charter. I'm in a charter school, so we don't, we don't do, we start a little bit earlier so we can have a midwinter break. break. <laughs> so that's how it works. So yeah, we are on a, um, we're on a, yeah, so CPS. It, oh, thank you, darling. I need to go buy some more hair. <laughs> Why did I mess up one of my wigs already? Trying to be grown and, and fix it. And yeah, I tore it up. So I got to go get some more wigs. I got to go before they run out of them $9.99 wigs. I got to get my nine, my $10 wigs. Got to get my $10 wigs in. Okay, so I got a bunch of stuff to get out. So let me let me do this. Okay, I think I got like 24. Yeah, about 24 right now that I need to send out. Well, that I have to do today, not send out. Cause yeah. Okay, so that's that. But what I'm doing is putting them in. I put them in baggies until I put them in their envelopes. You know, so you know, be trying to. I be trying to be extra. So I'm putting their names on them. So as always, I have a lot of Mancera to decant. I am almost out of Mancera's. Hey, Tara. 
Uh, yeah, I'm almost out of the, my uh, Mancera's as always because people order that all the time. But yeah, I have it's buy five, get 20% off. So quite a few people ordered. So if you're looking for decans, come on through, come on through. Thirteen, seventeen. Um, okay, and then we got. Let me open this up so I can see them all. Ha ha! There we go. I'm getting so. Oh, think think things through, Louise. Think things through, cause I was like flipping pages. I'm like, why are you doing it? We could just open up the damn notebook. Y'all, if y'all have not gotten. Y'all, rocket books. Y'all need to get y'all rocket books because this thing is my. Ooh, I love this thing. Uh, Michelle, I think I put you in. Uh... <laughs> right, you know, give us. Right, you know, because I came on them 17s. I don't know how I did that shit either. Um, so, what was I going to say? Teresa and Gerda. Okay. One more, two, two more. Um, where's Michelle? Did you see that I tagged you in my little in my little tag? Cause I'm trying to be like y'all. I'm trying to be like y'all. I know I gave me like two. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. So I always do the Mansells first. So I'm gonna show y'all everything. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I did tag you in my sexy for every occasion. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure that I tagged you, girly girl. I was trying to take everybody that I that I could remember. Um, because you know, I'm a older, I'd be forgetting shit. So I'll be trying. I'll be trying. Don't you hate when you try to like tag people and then you forget people and then they like it or something? You'd be like, fuck. I, and you'd be like, fuck, I didn't tag them. You know what I'm saying? You be like, damn it, I didn't tag them. And then you, then you gotta hurry up and edit and tag. So then they don't, hopefully they don't notice that they weren't tagged. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, just, it's levels to these things. It's levels to these things. All right. So, do I need to get some more of these? I said, I tried to do that. I did that too. I did that too. I said it was for everybody. Um, How many of these do I have left? Ooh, I gotta buy some more of these. I always put a little note in, um, and this on my little pink note cards. And I'm almost out. I need to buy some more. Ooh, okay. So I gotta order some more of those. Okay. That that. Okay. Then I need to grab some more. Uh, make sure I get this out because I'm pretty sure I am about to run out of um, of these labels. So what I'm gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell y'all, this is what I got to do. I got some clear labels, but I got green in here, right? So I'm going to try to do the ones that are black first, so I can use that up. Where can you find it? Um, You can hit me up on IG or send me an email, and I'll just send it to you. Oh my goodness. Do you? Did you? Did your stuff ever come? Speaking of that, did your stuff ever show up? Did it ever show up? I mean, but you know what? That is the craziest thing because I swear, Royalty Sense is in Palatine, Naperville, right down the street. And it takes over a week for me to get their stuff. I'm like, you down the street? I could literally drive to get my shit. Lit for real, for real, drive to get it. And it can't make it here on time? what oh and then i need to make some samples because i like i always send samples with with orders you know i always get a few samples so i need to do some samples <laughs> see how we trying to be good i be trying to be like pro professional and i get better samples than them damn stores be given mm -hmm. I had, okay, let me tell y'all what I had to eat so far today. Bacon. I made me some bacon. I couldn't think of nothing to eat with the bacon, so I just made me some bacon. So I just made, okay, that's fine. 
Um, I just, I just made me some bacon. So, let's just talk. I have, well, I'm gonna do a whole video on this, so I can't talk about that because I got, I'm about to do a video the difference between women shopping and men's shopping and collecting because I have some thoughts on it. It's gonna be a ramble. I might do it after I do this and post it today. So how y'all doing? Okay, so I'm just talking. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just meet up with me because that don't make sense. Because you are literally down the street from me. I mean, we are in the same almost neighborhood. I'm we're we're two neighborhoods. I'm in one neighborhood down the street from each other. You know what I'm saying? Because you are south. You south shore. I'm Woodlawn. That don't make no sense. But like I said, my royalty sense always take forever. It don't make no damn sense to me how something coming from the suburbs takes over a week to get to my box. I have to go to my box though. Please. It's three of us. It's me and my daughter using that uh, UPS box. Man, sometimes I come in there and it look like we, we bought every damn thing. Every damn thing. All right, let's get started. Of course, man, Sarah's on the list. I got some that you don't, I don't normally get. Ow! Sorry. I got a lot of man, Sarah's to do today. Let me see. One, two three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I got 12 of them to do. So half of what I'm doing today is me and Sarah. <laughs> because, oh, thank you. Hey, Miss, hey, Miss Lana. Glad you took Shadow out for a walk. Glad you took Miss Shadow, Mr. Shadow out. Okay, so here we go. I got this, I got this, I got this. Let's get ready to do this stuff. All right, so I got, how many do I have to do a wild python? One. One, two, three, two wild pythons. Yeah. So as always, I have to do a whole bunch of wild python. Why? Because people love wild python. I, I don't know. Maybe I hyped it up enough. I don't know. What's, but people want some wild python. Where's D'Angelo at? You at work, man? So I have I have hyped up wild python. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Girl, you don't like nothing I like. I, we, I don't even know. There's nothing that I like that you like. I don't even know your style. I can't quite figure what just happened here. I just can't, I can't even figure out your style of fragrance. Is it just gourmands? Okay. So wild python. Let me sell y'all. I done sold so much wild python. I had to buy a whole new bottle. This is a whole new bottle what time do you work d'angelo d'angelo let me just say this i am so jelly of your ig pictures of your fragrances yo should be looking like you should i'm like damn i'm i need to learn i need better backgrounds and stuff i need to work with with filters or something because your shit be like awesome i'm like okay Hi, Chantel. I think you're new. Oh, and let me just tell y'all. So what I think I'm going to start doing, and let me ask y'all, do y'all like this idea? I think I'm going to do my one, um, like one reviews, like reviews, quick reviews on IG. Because, and let me tell you why I'm going to do it like that. And this is all about the algorithm. Let me just make this clear. This is all about the algorithm. When it comes down to the algorithm, you want to have a, um, there's a, it's about um, average time on your channel, on your video. So you want to have a good average watch time, right? So the shorter videos, of course, get you shorter watch times, which messes with your average. It's all about the numbers. So I'm thinking because I do those, um, 
because I do so many because you want to like anything that's going to be like four minutes, five minutes. I'm just going to put on IG, you know, or as a uh, and I get I get quite a few views. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to keep doing because it just makes sense because you want to keep your watch. You want your average viewer viewing time to be high. And so that's why you remember there was a time when they said, um, oh, I ain't doing no one minute. That ain't going to happen. I used to do one minute reviews. They hard to do. They're hard to film. They're hard to edit. Ooh, they are hard. Um, but, you know, like four or five minutes is cool because four to five minutes on YouTube isn't enough. It messes with my watch time. And I'm just being real. Can you monetize IG? Absolutely, you can. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why so many people do it. Not only do you do that, but you know, you get a lot of sponsor posts on IG, things like that. So that's the thing with IG is that you get a lot of sponsorships. And it helps with, um, you know, you get a lot of sponsor. Yeah, there's a lot of sponsor posts going on on IG. And if that ain't easy. Yeah, it's it's a whole lot. Usually what happens is brands will reach out to you. It's all about your view. You know, the, the that's why when they were talking about taking off likes and shit, people was like, uh, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. I, I'm just not going to do TikTok. I'm try uh, and if it is, it's because it's something that I'm using on IG because I just can't keep up. But And I will say this, and I'm just being honest, I look at the big ones and what's been around a while. Because remember when Vine was around and everybody was doing them Vines and shit, and now and it was Snapchat. Everybody was on Snapchat. Snapchat is dying. Now it's TikTok. Now, let me just tell you about TikTok that annoys me. And I just got to be real with y'all. I am so tired of the, the lip syncing bullshit. Some of the likes are all on video, some videos though. Yeah, but you, you still get your views. And then what it is, is like you get views. So like if you're doing video stuff, they're going to let them views show up because they because they need them advertisers to come through. Because you notice there's advertisers now on IG. And so um, I look at TikTok, you know, and it's like, it's for dancing and then all that damn, you know, um, everybody doing them lip sync things. It's like, oh my God. Okay. Every, and everybody thinks they are so cool and clever. I have seen some of the funniest TikToks because somebody really think they doing some shit. It's like now everybody is running the TikTok. And I'm going to be honest with you. I think TikTok has a short, is going to have a shorter shelf life. Because what happens is, let's just be honest. Let's be honest. Mark Zuckerberg comes for them all. And he owns IG now. And so now he's putting in reels. He's like, oh, okay, TikTok, I got your ass. Trust me. He coming, he, listen, Snapchat had them damn filters. Facebook started having filters. Zuckerberg don't play with these folks. He's like the Google of social media. So I'm going to stick with the ones that have been around and ain't. So IG, I'm going to stick with. Um. I bet you they are, because, yeah, you know they ain't going to let them TikToks roll through. Listen, Zuckerberg ain't playing. He like, oh, mm -mm, y'all going to get rid of these TikToks will not be on my platform. Oh, yeah, them, them, they ain't going to be able to share them babies in a minute. They ain't going to be able to share them. Because Zuckerberg don't play with folks. And, you know, like people say, oh, YouTube is dying. Go to Twitch. Do this. Do this. Okay, y'all, YouTube ain't going nowhere. Unless the internet goes down, YouTube is not going anywhere. But I want people to say, oh, it's not going to be here. Go on back, back, back. Thin the herd for us. Thin the freaking herd. TikTok has been banned in India already. That's why they started the reels because TikTok was banned in India already. So that's why you'll notice if you see reels on 
if you notice a lot of the reels that are on on ig are indian because that yeah so it like some like if you notice some other countries it hasn't been banned here but it has definitely i know the biggest one that banned them was india and you know that's what two billion people so yeah so that's why you notice you'll see a lot of India TikToks because they know they know the reels because they no longer have the TikToks. Yeah, so that's that I do know that cuz cuz I did read up on that. Um but yeah, I can't yeah, Zuckerberg like, oh, "Okay, y'all got these TikToks rolling on my shit. Y'all crazy." No, we not we not promoting another. We not gonna be promoting another social media site on my site. My site. That's like Clubhouse. Everybody's running to Clubhouse. Clubhouse is basically right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, YouTube is not going to die because it's part of Google. Google is the largest search engine, and YouTube is the second largest. Hey, Courtney, we gonna have, remember, we having ours at 7 p.m. Remember, members, y'all got one at 7. This is because I'm off and I needed to get this done, which it probably won't all get done because you know we used to get to talking and shit. So, yeah. So, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So, let me tell y'all. Right, CC? This is, just, this is just this bonus one because... I'm uh, off this week, so I'm going to be, I'm trying to do more videos. I'm trying to catch up on videos. I'm putting, I got, oh, I had this really, I, I, I just saw something. I got to update. I, so I'm going to try to I'm gonna work on videos all week while I'm cleaning my house. And I'm so proud of myself because I started off on a good note. I really did some good work yesterday. You know what the good work was? And let me, let, let, I need a show of hands. I washed my sheets and towels. And, um. And I folded them up and put them away the same day. That's 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 progress for me. That's progress. So Clubhouse is some app that's on iOS. Uh, yeah, they're gonna make a Facebook version of, of Clubhouse. So it's a um, part of iOS. It's a um, it's an app on um, you know iOS. Um, and they are you know they're they're doing like all these groups and stuff um i'm proud of myself because i that's something so and it's like you have to be invited to it right now and everybody's trying to run over there and there's like business groups and everything but see here's the thing that i always want to say to people you can do all those things on any platform. You know, they're all like, oh, and you can have these live stream. You have these live things where you're talking and everything and blah, 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 blah. Um, You can do that shit right here on YouTube. You can do it on Facebook. You know, it's just you need to know how to manipulate and work with the stuff there. Hi, Eileen. So it's just like, oh, okay. But they think they're doing something special. So I am, and I'm like, oh, okay. We on Clubhouse. We doing it. All of this stuff. Let me tell you something. That's a social network. And everybody thinks they're going to take these new so the, a social network um, and do something spectacular on it. This nobody's ever done. And everybody's done this shit. Periscope used to do that shit. Periscope, you could do it all. You know, <laughs> right. You could do it on Zoom. You can do it on. Girl, I'm an Android for life, too. You know, I'm a Samsung Galaxy girl. I'm a galaxy girl. What did I do with my scissors now? I have to buy a new label maker. The, the cutter function on here just died. Um, girl, I'm a galaxy girl. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Fuck that bullshit. You could do it on Zoom. You could, there's so many platforms already out here. And yeah, I, the only thing I might get this Apple is an iPad. And that's only because my kids and them all, everybody got this Apple bullshit. And I guess I'm going to have to get it so then I can like Facebook. Uh, oh, there it is. Um, yeah, I got the 10 plus. Girl, yeah. Um, yeah, I got the 10 plus. 
Um, I'm waiting for them to come out with the 12 or something with the better one. It's 20, it's 2021. It's time for me to be able to get it. It's time for my upgrade. It's time. I'm in Rocket Galaxy since the 6. Is the S12 is it now is the S21 really um really that or whatever? You know what? I think I could look kind of cute today. Hmm. I might be wearing this lipstick. Let me put some lip, let me put the makeup on or something so I can do some stuff. Finally, I got this right. What did I just do? I just got my fingers all over this. Yeah, yeah, all my phones. Oh, they jumped to the 21. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, so then I need to look at that because it's time for me to upgrade my phone. It is time for me to upgrade. Really? Okay. Okay. Because I wait every two years. You know, it's like I jump every two years. I let that. I jump every two years. So it's about time for my two year jump. Okay. Good to know. Thank y'all for telling me. Because I was like, I was like, what, what happened to the 12? I see some. Because sometimes, you know, like sometimes Galaxy be doing that little janky mess in the middle with some kind of off number. And you be like, what number is this? What is this telling me? Every android has died in three years. Mine don't die. I'm just ready to move up. You know, but I'm a two-year girl. Every two years, like clockwork, it's time for me to get a new phone. Add two years. I need a new phone. Sandra and Regina. Okay, so Regina. Yeah. Baby, remember the days of the Blackberry? Now, let me tell you, a, ain't nothing died like a Blackberry when it died. Blackberries died, like, for real. Yeah, I make the payments on it. I'm just going to make the payments like I did every year. Um, I, I don't even trip. I'm, I'm making payments on this one. I'll make payments on the next one. Uh, oh, the sidekick too. Who, baby. I remember my Blackberry. Blackberry would just go down to a little. They were cute. They would just go down to that little green square and everything died. There wasn't shit you was getting back off of that. You, you better hope you had backups to everything. Who, baby. Okay, so I need that S21. Huh? Okay. Okay, y'all, I see. Let me tell y'all something I do. So I got to make sure I'm ready to do it. Uh, uh, I tend to keep my phones. I need to turn this one in, though. Not the next tail. I, the, that, twerk, that little chirp used to get on my damn nerves. I hate that. I hated that damn chirp. I hated that chirp. Oh, I hated that chirp. All right, so next up, next up on the Man Sarah train today is say it with me, Musky Garden. Mm, 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 mm. mm. Oh, I got some new stuff, y'all. Speaking of stuff, I lost my mind this month. I lost my mind. I lost my mind. I was doing really good, and then shit just got out of it, just spiraled. You know what I'm saying? I, it, you know how you like you doing? Okay, I'm just I'm here, and then shit just spiraled out of control. Oh, I remember pages. Now you had to have that on your hip. Oh, I did. I barely had one, and then once I and one, true story, um, I had. Well, you, you might find one today as we talking. You know, musky garden is my little garden. It's that end of the season garden that's just overripe and sexy. Mm -hmm. I remember I remember I had one but I had to get rid of it because honestly I had a stalker he drove me insane I had to get I never wanted it I didn't want that shit no more I literally had a stalker like tried to climb through my window thought it had to um oh yeah musky garden lasts long yeah 
he was trying to climb through my window. Um, it got to the point I had to change my routes. I thought that was going to be me or him, and I was going to make sure it was going to be him. So, yeah. After that, I didn't want a pager. I was like, I didn't want nobody being able to catch up with my black ass. Hey, you know, it's life. That's why it's like when men, we try to tell men, you know, y'all don't understand how it is being a woman. The shit that you have to like worry about just on a regular day. Just on a, on a regular. Um, No, there is. Yes, there are some man Sarah's that don't last. Sicily does not last. Sicily smells beautiful. It is a gorgeous summer fragrance, but that bitch don't last. I sold it. It's got this like pineapple. Um, it's really pretty, but baby, it don't last no time on the skin. It's gone. That's the only Sicily that I can honestly say. I mean, the only man Sarah that I can honestly say really doesn't have any longevity. You how you like it, Eileen? You like it? I'm gonna try to be better. I'm gonna start. Uh, hey, hey! This is my when I'm decanting. This is my decanting space. So I'm on the other side of the room when I'm doing this part. Hey, my sister. Hey, boo thing. Hey, boo thing. Somebody ordered roses greedy today too. Did I grab it? Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, so I sit in two different spaces now. Because I got my other table over here. Ooh, y'all should sit. Wait till y'all see when I'm done with that area over there. I just bought the prettiest, the cutest little uh, picture. Yeah, it's fruity, but it don't last. Hey, Mario. It, it, it's fruity. It's it's really great for the summertime. Has a very like you know summer tropical vibe, but it don't last. It does not last at all. A new one I have doesn't last that long either. But I'll talk about that when I talk about it. When I do my blind buys. Um. I haven't really seen any sales because of the holiday. But yeah, so let me see. I bought a bunch of stuff. I bought a bunch of stuff. And then I got some better deals. Okay, some of it doesn't count though. You know how, okay, so let me say. Let me just tell y'all. Some of it doesn't count. Two things don't count because they're invoiced. They're invoiced fragrances. So those don't count. So I got two things coming on my invoices. So let me just say how many I actually have gotten this month. For real. Uh, the haul that I'm doing is going to be probably, yeah. Okay, so anyway, I started working on the haul. I videotaped part of it, and then I'm waiting for some other stuff to come in, which is sitting there, but I can't get to it. Yeah, I've never shopped there. Yeah, hey, Ouija. Um, okay, so speaking of ganache, y'all want me to go into it because I'm telling y'all, y'all need to get that Entice. I know Tara don't, Tara don't like it, but Entice is such a beautiful white floral. Oh my God, I'm in love with that thing. Um, so let me see. I got seven from ganache. Plus I have some more coming because they were on sale. So I bought a few. Um, are they okay? Good to know because I, was, I wasn't sure about the Mylene. Good to know. Good to know. Thank you for telling me because I was looking at them, but I hadn't, I didn't hear anybody shopping there. Hi, Heather. So good to know. Good to know. Thank you for telling me. So I got, um, I got seven from him, from JC. I got, um, what else did I get? Seven or nine or some shit like that. I don't know. Seven, nine, something. I don't know. I don't know. Did it? Yeah. Cause it's a beautiful white floral. Um, so I got seven from Ganache. I got 11 other random stuff. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. So musky garden is done. 
I'm almost done with that one. Um, and then I got, um, what else did I get? Okay, so let me say, so then I'm waiting on, I wound up, I'll tell you, I got chocolate greedy because I got it on a good deal. So I got some, somebody was selling a bottle. So I got a partial for $60. And I think it's supposed to be like the thing with 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 Montaldo, people can tell you what it is. You will not know. They could have sprayed it down to nothing and you will never know until you start spraying it. But OK, I digress. I'm just I'm going on faith that it is how much they said it is because the damn thing don't never seem like it's full. Yeah, see, I am too. I'm skeptical too. So good to know because I've seen it a few times and I was like, mm, pass, thank you. No, thank you. Mm -mm, don't want none of that because it don't seem it don't seem right to me. Good to know. Um, so then what else? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so now I got that. And then, okay, you y'all ready for this? But this is such a great thing to happen. So I ordered, somebody was selling some stuff. They were decluttering. Um, Wild Python. Wild Python is definitely signature worthy. Um, I mean, you know what? It just, you know what? I always say a signature sense. I have a whole thing about this. I did a, a, a live about signature sense. Signature sense are very personal. I think that everybody, is, is, you know, that's why I never do something that says, oh, I can say what I would use as a signature scent. Wild Python, definitely. Um, but I think that when it comes down to signature scents, I think that people should really start thinking outside of the box um, because it, signature scent shouldn't be like La Via Belle. I'm just here to say it. Your signature sh scent should not be La Via Belle because you smell like everybody. You smell like auntie. You smell like your auntie. You smell like sis. You smell. You sound. You smell like sister. Sister uh, Ruby at the church. At, you know, on the usher board. You, you you all smell the same so when it comes down to signature sense i think it's very it should be very personal and it should be something that's going to make you stand out that's just my thing about signature sense so i always say like learn what you like and then find something unique in that kind of genre so like if you like florals find you a floral hi abby um that's just like nothing that anybody has. So when it comes down to Mancera, hell yeah, you can find a lot of different things because everybody doesn't wear Mancera. So Mancera is kind of perfect because it's a niche. So like most people don't wear niche, you know, or know about Mancera because unless you're going to certain stores or you're just into Fragcom, you're not going to know about brands like Mancera. You're not going to know about brands like Histoise de Parfum, you know, so stuff like that. No, I could never have one. I could have, I could say, okay, I have stuff that I really like, you know, and I and I do wear it a lot. Okay, what's it in? Okay, see there you can. Cause I uh uh I can't for one thing, I'm just not gonna wear. Oh, you're impressed with my knowledge. Oh, thank you, darling. So we got this one done. And this one done. Okay, musk garden, musky garden. Okay, let me get this one done. So next we're gonna oh no, I gotta do my um Mancero's next. Okay, so what's the next Mancero on the list? We're gonna do we're gonna do roses, Deaconess Jones within. You know, you're gonna get you some old school stuff like Lulu or Giorgio. Oh yeah, it's light blue. Oh my god, I wouldn't so next up is Rose's Greedy. I might have to buy another bottle, y'all. I think I gave out too much, wore too much, sold too much of this bottle. I'm not supposed to. Clearly, I've been wearing this a lot and selling a lot because I only sell half of the bottle. Really? La Via Belle? Oh, my Lord. Yeah, you know they don't they don't know shit about nothing. Because, I mean, La Via Belle... go wrong with roses greedy okay so we got this one let me get these done let me get these done i'm just saying so yeah um oh yeah light blue is my favorite perfume i just love that stuff Woo, that shit. Mm -mm. 
I'm telling y'all, I had a whole set of that shit. I had to give it away. You know what else never smelled good on me that people said smelled good? Was Dune by Christian Dior. Oh my goodness. That shit stank to high heaven on me. I tried to wear that for so long. It was like, oh no, it's not going to work. It's not working on you. It's not working. It's not. It's not. Um, and then what else? So... <laughs> Hey, cousin. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Uh, I had the original. It was terrible on me. It just did not smell good on me. I can't remember what I, what I likened it to, but it did not smell good on me. You know, since I really don't do declutter videos, I'm going to do a video talking about video, like fragrances that I've gotten rid of, never really talked about that I've gotten rid of. Like I got rid of Lolita Lampica Sweet. No. Mm-mm. It was terrible for me. Like, mm, no. Mm, no. Mm. Absolutely not. So yeah, I had to get rid of that. Absolutely not. Oh, oh, so I, I, let me finish telling y'all. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so sweet was terrible too. <sighs> I ain't like so sweet either. So sweet, actually, so sweet smelled better. It just didn't last at all. I was like, it was like a body spray. Of the two, so sweet smelled better to me, but it was just, it just wasn't hitting. Oh, Liz Claiborne. I remember when that was it. But, uh, oh, so then I bought another DK. I bought another partial from somebody. And she gifted me two more bottles for free. So I not only got. I like Girl and Now, but I like Girl and Now Shine a little better. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, so she gave me two bottles for free because she was really decluttering. And I was like, well, thank you very much. So I got, so that's, uh, girl, and, uh, yeah, I know you don't like girl and now. Yes, Mario, I've seen the video. I've seen the video. Okay, I've seen the video. That's all I'm going to say. I've seen the video. Okay, okay. Um, well, yeah, the original Angel is a little, it's a little rough. Once they started doing the flankers, it was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't really, I like Shine best. Um, I keep girling now because people want to try it. So I've been selling it off because I was going to sell off, um, I was going to get rid of it, but then I, people asked for it. So I just kind of like, so I've been decanting it more than I've been, I don't really wear it. Now, funny enough, um, I like Forever too. Uh, my son, like, he really likes, um, he likes Girl and Now. He thinks it's sexy. That's one of his favorites. Okay. I can see it making you nauseous because it's super sweet. It is super sweet. It, it, it it's almost sickly sweet okay so that's done what's next seem shine isn't to me shine isn't that nutty shine is more is bright um and and it has a little more fruit to it so it's a little more fruity it's a little brighter um, for me, uh, okay, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need, could, okay, so then we got that. Okay, gold prestigium. Oh no, black vanilla, black vanilla. Oh, I'm gonna have to deal with this damn thing. Okay, so I got black vanilla. Let me find one of these things because black vanilla, 
you know, the thing broke on me. It when I when I take the top off, the whole damn thing comes off. Right, yeah, see it's the pineapple note in there that really makes that one work. So I have these squeezy. I have one. Okay, I'm gonna need to put the name on this one because I need this for this. So I'm gonna have to squeeze it out. See, I'm like, I right, with alien. Alien, I. Right. It's I. Right. I ain't gonna. It's I. Right. I barely wear alien. I'm probably gonna get rid of it soon. I know I'm getting rid of alien fusion. The pineapple doesn't last throughout, like you, the pineapple doesn't last throughout, but it's just enough sweetness to help it out. So you know what I'm saying? So it's not like the pineapple lasts, but it has enough, um, It there's enough of it that hangs out in it to really help the scent throughout. And I, and I don't know if that makes sense, but there's enough of the pineapple sweetness you know, that helps. Let me see, can I get this shit out? Okay. Which ones did you keep? Um, I still like Oh Sublime. I think I'm gonna get rid of Oud Majest too because it's not one of my favorite ouds, and I'm a, and you know, and I'm a oud lover, as a oud lover. So I want it to be right. Oh, an extraordinaire. Yeah, I like extraordinaire too. I like Oh Sublime and I like Extraordinaire. So, yes. See, it doesn't smell like that on me. Oh Sublime doesn't smell like the original on me. Fusion does. Oh Sublime has the tiari flower and stuff. Well, I'm gonna find out about insulins because that's one of the free bottles I got coming. <laughs> So this is black vanilla. Hi, Krista. I've never tried. I've never. We're going to see if I like it. I was like, you know, I'm good with trying it. But it wasn't like I, I've been like, oh, yes, I need some Guerlain Insolence in my life. I need the Guerlain Insolence. But I, um, so let me think. How many bottles do I have this month? All together. Um. Oh yeah. Um I um so far I have 18 in the house. Uh then I have I have one, two, three. Uh what's my fragrance profile? I don't have one. I can't say that. I like gourmands, I like spicy, I like orientals, I love florals, uh, I'm all over the place. Um, no, I'm not a big fan of Chanel. Uh, I, I traded off my cocoa. Um, Chanel is like where I started. That was the, like the first adult one, like Chanel number five. I'm just not, a, I am contrary. Y'all gotta remember I'm contrary. I have a contrary nature. So I'm contrary. Um, it's like, oh, okay. And so, yeah, I, I, uh, traded that out. It was like, but I might be trading something in soon. I'm putting something up for swap soon. 
Um, Cause I don't necessarily want it. Yeah, so it's like, huh? I think that um, Chanel, you know, I mean, Chanel has this place. Um, Okay, yeah. When the world opens up. Isn't that funny how we talk like that? When the world opens up. When the world opens up. I still okay, so I haven't smelled it in a long time, but I still love um Chanel number five. Ooh, entice. And leche y galletas. That you know that's my favorite. Leche y galletas. Do I have snuggle? I don't think I have snuggle. Um, I don't think I have some. Okay, next up is Precious Oud. Shut up. Oh my goodness. This is, ooh, do y'all know Precious Oud? Precious Oud is nice and boozy. Mm, mm, mm. No, but one of my favorites, which you can't get anymore, is Fendi. I need to get the original Fendi. That used to be my shit. Fendi, oh, you couldn't tell me nothing when I was wearing my Fendi. Oh, yeah, you guarantee that shut up was for you. You know it was for you. You can guarantee that one. Precious, ooh, smells so good. What does wild python smell like? Wild python is a vintage, it's very, it's a beautiful tuberose. <gasps> ooh, ooh, see? I used to love that. My vintage ones, yes, it is. Ooh, it's so good. I don't know why they call it precious ooh, though, because I don't get no ooh in it. But ooh, it is just so, ooh, it's so boozy and sweet. Now I want some. Now I want some tiramisu. I ain't had no tiramisu in a minute. I I made, I made one time this berry tiramisu. Oh my god, it was so good. Ooh, it was so good. Now you said that. Now I'm thinking I want a cannoli. I want a cannoli. Ooh, a cannoli would be so good. A chocolate dipped cannoli. Ooh. But I ain't getting shit because I'm sitting in this house and I ain't going nowhere today. I'm not going anywhere. I will not be going anywhere in that in this snow. In this snow, hunty. Not at all. Not at all. I will not be out in this weather. Of y'all, mm, mm, mm. I okay. Well, I okay. I love poison. Poison was my thing, but then when I had children, my my chemistry changed and smelled like rain on me. Ah, TBC. Okay, oh, it is. Oh, it's so nice. Yes, it's so nice. Yes. Oh, crazy moods. I did the whole obsession thing. I need some water. What is this precious oud? Okay. Precious, precious oud. Craving cheesecake and soft cookies. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they came down. I heard them come down my street, but I live on a side street. So, you know, they ain't coming that often. No, what is everyone sending today? a day? Yes, I have to. Oh, is it? I got to look for that. Um, I have a, uh, what am I wearing today? Oh, I know what I'm wearing. I am wearing 100% pure love by ganache because i was trying it out fracas Ooh, 
Now that's vintage. I love it. I need to get me a bottle too. Um, I am wearing, um, cause it's, it's like a, a candied orange, a chocolatey candied orange. A chocolatey candied orange, that's what it is. Mousse, oh, you doing big. You going big with that mousse ravageur. Okay, Frederick Mall up in the house. Okay, 100 Silent Ways, okay. Side effects, y'all spend y'all got them big money fragrances on. Y'all got that serious big money fragrances on. Ooh, y'all doing y'all going big. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for my uh samples. Oh, contre moi. Oh, look, look, I can't keep okay. I'm not good enough for y'all. I'm I, I'm not good enough for y'all. I'm not good enough for y'all. You know, I'm not on y'all levels. I'm not on y'all levels. You know, y'all, y'all are doing it big. Hey, Karen. Next up, gold prestigium. Gold. Oh, and say it ain't nothing but a decan. I have a very small amount of mousse. I like mousse gravageur though. It's very pretty. I would get that. Um, yeah, you just want to bid on Valentina born in Roma. I don't have, I'm such a snob. I heard it's good. Donna Aqua. I heard Born in Rome is good too. I'm just, I got to get to that point of buying like a lot more designers. I do need to buy some more designers. Um, but I also, I'm trying not to like have a wall of perfume. Because see, once again, I am not that chick who feels bad. I keep my shit. Um as much as possible i ain't gonna lie you know what the thing is i like i said i do get rid of stuff i just don't make a big deal about it i just i don't like do a whole oh my goodness i'm getting rid of stuff so i just get rid of it i thought you didn't like leather i can't see you liking leather what is okay what is it with the leather with is it like a sweet leather or something Do I wear oils? I need to get some more. I have oils. Okay, I have single note oils. Like I have, cause I wanted to honestly smell them. I have some Tonka bean fragrance oil right here. And I was gonna get some Tonka bean. And then I have an Osmanthus. And then I have some Osmanthus. Um, and then I have some sandalwoods. I have some like musk and things like that. Just, you know, so I can get. Uh, and then I have, so, but I do want to get some fragrance oils. Um, oh, girl, what you're going to do is you're going to come on and you're going to buy some decants, Miss C. Marie, so that you can try them out and see what you like. Go prestigium. Okay, what kind of leather do you want, Patricia? The old lady. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I don't know. You gonna step off the old ladies? You gonna step off the old ladies? Ain't nothing wrong with the old lady. What are y'all looking for when you talk about fragrances for your? But you're kind of young though, so I can see that. I mean, you're kind of young, so I guess you will want younger fragrances. Um. You know, step off the old florals. Ain't nothing wrong with the old florals. Uh, listen, I know I'm an old lady. Um, so a good one. I'm gonna have.
have to read this again. I'm a leather skirt girl, not a dominatrix. Whips and chains. Sweaty looking feet kind of leather. Um, just providing context. Oh, okay. Um, Gold Precision is a beautiful leather. It's got um, citrus in it. Um, it's a very, if you just want to try leathers, this is a good one to try. Um, I have a couple more that I'm work, playing with right now. But uh, I haven't talked about them yet, so I'm still wearing them. What other leathers do I have? Quite a few leathers. I have to look them up. Okay, so this is Gold Precision. Gold Precision is one of my favorite leathers, though. Yeah, it's it's one of my favorites. Got this little citrusy fruit kind of sweet note. Um, I don't know what. I cannot speak on. I cannot speak on. Um, uh, on back of my rouge because I don't wear it or like it or anything like that. So. I refrain to say, I want, I need to get black prestigium. I want to try that one too. Uh, but I'm trying not to, you know, the thing with me and Sarah is you can wind up with so many of them because there's so many of them. So I now I will tell you this, just so y'all know, I'm kind of on this histoire de parfum thing right now. Just so bear with me. Um, just bear with me. Um, so don't be surprised if you don't see a lot of uh, histoire de parfums coming up. I'm about to bang. I think I'm almost done with getting all the ones that I want to try of his Swaz de Parfum. And then I'll be like, okay, I'm good. You know, there's this there's a point where you go, okay, I have enough. Um, because I really like um hey Anisha, thank you. Um, because I really like Go Precision right here. Look, is that Anisha? Look at what I'm doing. I'm working on your stuff, girl. I'm working on your order. Right here, putting your first one in here. I'm work well, I'm working on orders on one of the orders is yours. So that's there. Okay. Okay, that's out. Did I forget to do somebody a musky garden? I showed up for me. Me and um Amina did one, smoke and leather. So there is one about smoky and leather ones. There I missed one. Damn it. I hate when I miss one. Um, we do have, there is one. Dang, I can't believe I missed one. Yeah, so um, I knew I had another musky garden. One, two, one more. Yep, yep, yep. Another musky guard. Um, here's the thing. I need to know what ambroxan smells like because you know some things people say um, that oh it's ambroxan it's iso e super. I want to know what those smell like, period. Because I think sometimes we think we know we're smelling it, but we really don't know what the hell we're smelling. At least I don't know. So I don't make those claims like, oh, Ambroxan, oh, this. Um, there is, like I said, there is a live on leathers. Um, I have gotten some new ones, but there is a live. This called Smoking Leather with me and Amina. And, um, you know, Amina got a lot of leathers and smoky stuff. Um, but what else? Let me finish this one up. I'm so irritated with myself. I thought I saw three. It, you know, it's all about doing it. Uh, I'm. Oh no, I'm not doing that damn tip for life shit. You know, I feel like this. It's like really, really. Okay, so then I'm gonna have to go get Juliet has a gun out of perfume because I've never gotten it. And I said I was gonna get um that and um and Broxon and ISO E Super, so I was gonna get the Molecule O one. So that's why I need to get them. 
Okay, like a wood. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get some of those. Oh, this smells so good. Yeah, so I definitely have to smell it because those are stuff I haven't really gotten into. It's like, oh, okay. But I will now. Okay, so I have to get those. Because when everybody says, um, like, molecule almost smells like pencil shavings, I'm like, why well, I want to smell like pencil shavings? All right, all right. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little bit. I ain't getting full bottles because I think Royalty Sense has. Um, okay. Man, I'm just gonna give me a decan of both of them. I'm fine with it because I'm not gonna buy a full bottle. That I'm not gonna do. Okay, so who else has musky garden? Oh, see, I used to have a hamster, so I understand that smell. I do understand that smell when you say it like that. I do love aldehydes, but aldehydes are old school, so that's why I kind of like them. You know, it's like, you, you gotta like an aldehyde if you like old school smelling things. Oh, now I like the smell of a clean hamster cage because I used to have hamsters and I used to like that smell, like the woods shaving smell. Okay, well, then that makes sense to me. I can I can picture that. I have to smell it again. Right, I've heard, I've heard. Okay, so now we got this, we got this, we got this. Who? Got, so they got their musky garden. Okay, so I got that, I got that. What else do I have to do? Amber fever. Oh, this reminds you of like blue hour morning. Um, I'm not a perfume layer for real, for real. I mean, I do it every once in a while, but like sitting around trying to hurt to do it. I don't know. I, I just ain't got to, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm wary of working that hard. I am wary of working that hard. Amber fever. Oh, that was almost my foot. All right, that was almost my foot. Okay. Yeah, I mean, no, layer can mean oil and perfume, um, of course, um, and that's fine. But, yeah, no, nah, I, I don't want to think that hard. Yes, Amber Fever is precious oud without the oud, booze, and tiramisu. And it okay, and let me tell you what Amber Fever is for me. Amber Fever is Baccarat Rouge 540, but it ain't because it's kind of similar, but it really isn't. Like, but it's what I need because I don't like Baccarat Rouge 540. So this is close enough to it, but gives me a, but ain't ain't Baccarat Rouge 540. So I that's how it works for me. But I think Amber Fever has some booze in it. If I'm not mistaken, it has some booze in it too. It just doesn't have the oud or the tiramisu. But I like it. Mm. Right, see that's what I'm saying. Like oil and perfume is one thing. Um, 
but like trying to create these different fragrances like if i layer this now i have a few layering combos that i've done um yeah i thought it has some whiskey in it uh but i don't but i don't i don't yeah Yeah, I don't get I don't get the BR540 hype. But, you know. And that's okay. I thought so too, Patricia, but hey. Well, supposedly, because then you create your own special fragrance and everything. But I ain't got time for special fragrance. I ain't got time to do all that. That's why when people ask me a uh, layering combination, I'm like, yeah, I don't. I, I mean, like, I could tell you, like, the only thing I could tell you that smells good layered is Amber Fever with Wild Cherry. Those two together, I have accidentally layered, and it was lovely. Now, that I like. You, yeah, you know what? Um, 540 is a top 10 for life for me, too. It's a top 10 that I won't never buy. That's the top 10 that's on. Never buy. Do I want this? Hell no. Mm -mm. No. That's what it is. It's on the top 10 I'll never buy. Okay, but uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, Kelly, let me tell tell me. So tell me a good uh oil company to try out. Cause I do need to, I do want to get some oils. Um and I was looking for a new oil company. Uh no, I ain't got no art to it. I am not artistic when I do it at all. I'm not a uh uh. Now let's just talk about as YouTubers, because there's a few YouTubers on here, you know, and this y'all watch stuff. Um how many perfumes do I have? Uh, it's in the 200 range. I don't know. 200 and something. 200 and something. I, I kind of lost. I, well, okay. Let me be honest. I haven't put everything. Uh, I haven't put everything in here into my database recently. I'm behind on my database. Shit, I got to add some more stuff I need to add to my database. So it's over 200, but I can't tell you how many at this moment. I can normally tell it because they're in my database. This is Amber Fever. But I'm behind on inputting things into my database. So... So yeah, that's it. So yeah, I think I mean like I got a couple of layers, but it's like I haven't. Yeah, but I do need to like talk about layering like lotions and stuff because you know you get the you get your little vanilla lotion and then you enhance some stuff. Yeah. Plus, I don't understand how the layering process works. So if somebody explains this to me. So if you're layering concentrated perfume oils, Krista, CPOs are concentrated perfume oils. So if you're layering, let me just ask you how you do this. And I just need I just need clarification. So when you're layering it, do you spray the first one on, let it dry, then spray the next fragrance on, or do you spray and then spray the next one so they mix up? Somebody, no one has ever really answered that for me. Wild wet. Thank you. Because that just makes sense to me. But somebody said dry and I was like, that don't make no damn sense to me. Okay, that makes sense. Coco Vanille Holidays in Sicily. Okay, so Sicily, no. We just said no. No to Sicily. And the reason why I say no to Sicily is because it doesn't last. Teresa. Do I have one for Teresa? Oh, yeah. But I'm sorry. Um, I'm like all up in y'all face. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was like y'all had like all y'all have my pores up in y'all face. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I always say don't get Sisley. Even though Sisley's beautiful, it just really doesn't last. I'm not the only one who says that. It just really doesn't last. So no to Sisley. Now, if you just want one, um, okay, okay, fragrance body or fragrant body oils. I'm gonna get them. Okay. Now, the See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Tara. Um, next one. Speaking of that, I got holidays out. I'm about to decant it. Okay. How this depends on what you want. Holidays is a floral. It's a tropical floral with a little sweetness. You know, it has a little sweetness in it. Coco vanille is coconut and vanilla. So it just depends on what you what your summer vibe is. If you want something that's very um, coconutty, go with Coco Vanille. If you want more tiari, frangipane, if you want those tropical florals, then go with Holidays. So that's how I always say. So it's, it just depends on what you're into. I personally like them both. But I'm going to tell you this. If you want tropical floral, though, don't get Holidays is good. But if you want that vibe, then get the Intense Tiari. Intense Tiari is yeah i mean don't get me wrong i like holidays but it's tense tiari mm -hmm. smell good the hell this one is pretty no right see what what just happened here Sometimes my holidays. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Oh shit. This is for her anyway. Something was in my holidays though. Hmm. Hold on for a second. Let me grab. Oh, I got something right here. Let me see what this is. Was this not on all the way? I just took the top off and a whole bunch of liquid came out. But I don't know, no. Hmm. Let me smell this and make sure it's okay. Let me spray this on me and see how it smells. Oh yeah, this still smells good. Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah. Hey, Christy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Holidays is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. But, yeah. That's... So, yeah, it just all depends. It just has a... Um, holidays has a sweetness to it, not necessarily coconutty. But if you like coconut, then go with Coco Vanille. Because it's going to give you your coconut. Or you can just... Get a decan of both and try to make a decision. I don't have Sicily. Like I said, I got rid of Sicily. I should have kept it, though, the decan for people. Because I did like the scent. I just wasn't wearing it. I wonder if it's still snowing outside. Ugh. All this snow is too much. <laughs> Like like it ain't what happens every year. I was just telling somebody that I said we live in Chicago. It's so it's gonna be like this every year. But what's deep is that it's snowing in Texas. What is going on? Okay, speaking of okay, so let me just tell y'all something that I saw on TikTok. Somebody had this TikTok. Are y'all ready for this one? Now, we've already talked. Um, yeah, that's true. We do usually get a... Karen knows what I'm about to talk about because she saw it too. So, another woman was on, um, on TikTok talking about how she messed herself up and how she was in the emergency room and blah, blah, blah. So, let me tell you what she said she did. Ladies... 
especially the sisters, y'all gonna know. Right. She puts relaxer, hair relaxer on her pubes and says she fell asleep and woke up to burning skin. So she's got this diaper on. She showed the diaper and everything like she had this diaper on and everything. See, this is the stupid shit people do trying to be, be popular. First off, why are you trying to straighten out your pubic hair? Why? Why? Either you, either you, if you like it, trim it down or wax it off or shave it off or whatever, you're going to do with it. Yes, child, yes. But to do that, what's the point? Because you want a straight pubic hair. Baby, ain't it though? People all trying to go viral. I'm just trying to figure out what she was going to, who was she showing the, the straight pubic hair to? Who was she? And, let me, and, and I'm going to say this with real talk. She was a kind of a big girl. And I can say this because I know you got folds and shit down there. What, what, you was going to get bur chemical burns anyway. And yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. I'm just telling the truth. I would say the truth. Right? I mean, it's like, so th this was your thing. Oh, she did this. I'm going to put some on. I mean, it's like, what? where are we going with this? Where, where are we going? We so, we're so desperate for attention and think we're going to be on the come up w w doing something like that that we would injure ourselves? Oh, okay. It makes sense. Right. Listen. On their four wheelers. Where you at, Heather? That's what I'm saying. She gonna braid it. She's just trying to see how, what was it? She was trying to, you know, show people how long she let it grow. I'm like, what's the point? I mean, if it's long enough for you to straighten it out. Kelly, can you send me the two that you were talking about so I know where to look? Um, I'm just saying. Oh, Southern. Uh -uh. I don't understand. I'm like, wh what? You thought that was go that that sounded like a good idea. That sounded like a good idea. Let me let me straighten out my pubic hair. Right, right, right. You can get that right. Next, right. Next thing she was gonna do was you know tr try to you know do the uh you know go on and straighten them out with a flat iron. You know, get that little mini. to like gain popularity, like you said, cloud chasing. But it's like, the problem is, here's the issue, is that everybody wants to come up with some kind of instant cloud chasing, instant, instant um, cloud. Not understanding that a lot of people who have clout per se, have been working at it for a long time. You know, Jeffree Star is not Jeffree Star because he one day decided to be. Jeffree Star been doing this shit forever. You know what I'm saying? People have been working their craft forever and then got their, their fame, you know, their clout. These people just would think they're going to do something like slap some shit on their head, throw some shit up in between their legs, do some stupid shit, and then they're going to be the like the next instant uh, success. That's what that's what they think. Well, I'm going to go on TikTok. I'm going to do some stupid shit and then, hey, V, and then I'm going to be the next 
I'm gonna be the next, you know, star. I'm gonna be the, ne I'm gonna be the next star out there. Yes, I'm gonna be the next. What? You look stupid. Okay, so now what's the last one? I always hate doing this one. I gotta take this one off because this one does not decant well. Right, like the Gorilla Glue Girl. And she just coming up with every reason why this shit makes sense. And she just got every reason. Well, this isn't what I was doing it in it. And now the next cloud out of that is the, the surgeon who got the Gorilla Glue out of her hair. So he's getting his, I ain't mad at him though, cause he a plastic surgeon, you know. Yeah, yeah, everybody, it, listen, it's going to be a whole bunch of people trying to prove their shit with that dumb shit. Hold on to me, excuse me, let it go. <laughs> so this is Jardine Exclusive. It does have a slight peppery note in the beginning, but once you get it on, it's this glorious, beautiful floral. Jardine Exclusive. And I am finally done with the Mancera's. An hour and a half in. I'm just going to spray a Mancera, spray a Mancera, spray a Mancera. Oh. oh okay. That was when I said, I don't think Helen's in here. You know what I want? This is one of them days where you want some fat shit. I think, I think I'm, ooh, you know what I'm about to make me? Cause I got some coconut oil too. I'm gonna make me some kettle corn. Do y'all make kettle corn? Let me, speak of the kettle corn. This is when you know you're around some young people. Mm -hmm. This is when you know you're around young people. Yeah, a few years ago, I was making popcorn on the stove. I ain't got no popcorn maker. I put that shit on the stove. Throw some grease in there and make me some fucking popcorn, right? Somebody was like, what are you doing? I said, I'm about to make some popcorn. They was like, on the stove? I was like, oh, I heard something about him too. I forgot about the one who decided to do Gorilla Glue His Lips. I forgot, Miss V, I forgot about the one. I did hear about him too. I was just so done. Um, I was just so done with homeboy who with her, with homegirl who put the, you know, relax on her pubes. I forgot about homeboy who put it on his lips trying to prove a point. What the fuck wrong with you people? I forgot about him, yeah. I think I'm gonna make me some kettle corn though. Nah, they don't. Right, right. I was like, remember when everybody had that hot air popper? Mm -mm, give me some good. And and now I cook mine in coconut oil. When I when I pop my popcorn, I pop it in coconut oil. Coconut oil. Mm, that shit good. It's fire, fire. With some, and then and then what I do is here's the trick: make it with the coconut oil, and then you throw a little sugar in there. You know, your little, uh, you don't even need that much. Like, let, uh, like maybe a tablespoon of sugar in there. Shake the uh, popcorn up with it, right? And then have that butter ready. But you don't want the butter too hot because then it melts. You know, crinkles. You gotta let it cool off just enough. So then, then you pour that butter on, and then you throw that, and then you throw some good sea salt on there. Damn, that shit is good as hell. I'm gonna sit because I got a TV now. You know, the kids got me a TV for Christmas. They only got me a TV because Bakari comes over. B said I needed a TV so Bakari would be entertained with me. But, ooh, I think, ooh, I think I might have to make some. 
because I, I love homemade kettle corn. Oh my god, goodness. Oh my goodness, that's my shit. And it's just so wrong, but so right at the same time. It's so wrong, but it's so right. All right, Jardin Exclusive. I remember, you know what though? I used to want Jiffy Pop. Okay, you know, you remember those days? Like my mama would not buy me Jiffy Pop. She'd buy popcorn. You know, if she bought me some popcorn, I had to pop that shit myself. I remember I saved, I took some of my own money to get Jiffy Pop and I was thoroughly disappointed because Jiffy Pop did not work like it did on the TV. You know, I was looking for that perfect popcorn and it was going to do that perfect thing and it burnt my, it was, I'm shaking and shit and it burnt up the bottom of that damn popcorn. It was terrible. Oh, I, I was expecting it to come up and everything, um, and it just did not work. It just did not work. Okay, so, yeah, so we're going to see more people doing stupid shit, trying to create this viral sensation, you know? Oh, but wait a minute, Mario. Okay, uh-uh. You ain't a real right okay let me just tell you something if you're a brown rice eater go and get your rice maker it's gonna change the way you love your brown rice i mean i can make brown rice i can make a i can actually make a really good pot of brown rice but i'd rather just throw that shit in that rice maker and keep it moving especially when it comes to brown rice you know because brown rice is, can be a little problematic you got to be on point that shit. Okay, that's done. All right, so let's see what other folks got. Right? Oh, see, I don't even have it. Okay, so next one, get rid of this one. Oh, yeah, I could do Banana Republic because I got a bunch to do today. Banana, oh, Banana Republic. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're going to do Banana Republics yet next. This one is Gardenia and Cardamom. If y'all don't start getting these damn Banana Republics, y'all sleeping on them, they good? These, the ones, I don't have the other ones. I just have the Icon ones. Well, that's kind of the way you're supposed to cook brown rice. You have to cook it, boil it, then dump it, put it back in and let it steam. It comes out perfect every time, but that's too much work. I could throw it in the damn pipe. See, I have a, I have a rice, I have a rice cooker with a brown rice function. So I just throw that shit in there and let it cook. You gotta worry about it no more, no more. All right, so this is gardenia and cardamom. It is just a beautiful white floral with a little spiciness. Mm mm mm. Yeah, I mean, I know how to make, yeah, you can make it like that, but mm -mm. it does it for you. It steams it, everything. Brown rice. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful, Christy. Right, I got the fancy one. Because if you have a regular one, it doesn't work as well. And I found that out because um, I used somebody else's one. I was like, this ain't the way my brown rice comes out. But mine has a brown rice function so it because it cooks it longer it and then it like you know keeps it at the right temperature to cook and then it brings it up sucks it and makes it steam so yeah it's beautiful so yeah that's i love that one oh, okay yeah, Kelly. Oh, I got to pack up your stuff today, too. Because you got stuff coming from me, Kelly. <laughs> so this month in February, just being honest, I got over 20 fragrances. Yeah, I got over 20. Yeah, because I have I have 18 here that I already got. 
I have. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. I got one, two, three more waiting for me. And then I bought, and then I got four more. So yeah, yeah it's about 20 something this month. I don't know how I got that out of control, but it did. I don't know. And I still want to buy two more because I've decided this, I, I've decided that once a month, I want to buy a black owned um, brand fragrance. You know, um, I have a lot of, I have black owned brand beauty products, but I don't have makeup. I ain't got skincare none, but um, I do want to get, I want to start getting black owned brand fragrances. And so I do have one in particular I'm trying, I want to try out this month. So I got to, I want to buy two bottles to try them out. Or maybe I buy the bottle and then the little sampler set. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Contact them and see, can I get samples of everything else? Um, yeah, so I think I want to do that. And then as another one I want to get next month. So I'm trying to do that because, yeah. Because, I, you know, I, I feel like this. I'm spending all this money. I need to start spending some with somebody that look like me. Honey, come, come. And just to try them out, too, because they they deserve to be promoted just like everything else. I promote me and Sarah. I promote all these other things. I can try them out. Now, here's the deal. If I don't really like their stuff, though, I'm going to tell that truth, too. So it ain't going to be like, oh, my God, they're black-owned company buying because they're they're black-owned. Now, if they shit ain't that good, I ain't. Now, I'm going to say this, and I said this in reference to some that I was looking at. I said, the one thing that I'm going to need all these black-owned fragrance companies to do, not everyone, but it's a few of myself, put the bottle size on there. Don't be putting up all these prices, and then I don't know how much I'm getting for that price. I need you to put down what, what, what size this damn bottle is. If you want premium money at least let me know that's what i'm paying for because i'll be mad because i'll be thinking this full bottle and then you send me a 50 mil don't don't play with my emotions like that do not play with my emotions like that because i was looking at hi black carrie yeah you know what I'm saying? It's like don't just it don't it doesn't take that much to put on your description the size of your bottles. It just does not take that much. So has anybody ever ordered from genre perf perfumes? Aren't they like a, a a dupe house or whatever? I don't care what they do. I'm just asking. Has anybody ever ordered from genre perfumes? The mm -hmm. reason why I'm asking this. The reason why I'm asking is because oh, why are you over? Um, is because I'm in the Facebook group for them, and I'm like, y'all doing too much. So I gotta, I gotta wait. Like genre problems. The way I'm understanding is like you gotta wait for him. To, you gotta be in his Facebook group, and then he announces when you, the ordering opens, and then you gotta rush and try to open. Oh, hi, Kristen. Um, there's quite a few, yes. Um, and then you gotta rush to try to get in. I'm like, are you serious? And this shit isn't even your fragrances. You know, you 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 doing dupes? Is it that serious? I'm like, shit. I might as well just go to do it. If I'm if we doing all that shit, okay. My bad. How is it? See that and now and then. Let me tell you about Chris Collins. He annoys me because he doesn't have any samples. Now I was gonna go onto another site and get them, but I'm like, motherfucker, do a damn sample set. Just do you, especially at his price point. Give me a, I'll pay fifty dollars for a sample set. Give me a sample set. No, I got to, I gotta go out to somebody else and find some samples. And they, mm -mm. and I don't want them from Lucky Scent because they got them damn. Mm -hmm. um, You know, I'm like, come on now, you can do better than this. You can do that. You can do better than this for me. Yeah, these are some ones. It's gonna tell me right now. 
Change the lamp. I know it. I know it. No, I wanna no, I wanna um uh uh I wanna his site and look for. Where is it at? Where's his discovery set? I wanna his website. I didn't see no damn discovery set. Cause I would have bought the discovery set. I didn't see it. I don't know, maybe he out of it or something. Shit. Cause I did not see it because I was looking for it. Maybe he did. I don't I don't know if he got a set from them or someplace else. Because I remember he had a set. That's why I went on there. Hi, Lisa. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I do have a tendency to be able to do Well, let me look this up. Hold up. I'm right in my computer. Let me see. Maybe I missed something. Okay, is it $45? Okay, thank you. Because I was cussing his ass out. Let me tell you. I was cussing his ass out, y'all. So thank you. I'm going to look for it. Because I showed it. Look for it. Could not. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I can see them from Crystal Fragrances, but she didn't have them all, and they were fucking too much. No, I wasn't paying that much because it was gonna wind up being like closest. It was gonna be way too much for all of his fragrances. Um, you know, so that's why I was looking on his. Side. I wanted them from his site. Then I went to Crystal Fragrances, and I was like, oh, she done lost her damn man too. I'm just saying because it was like two mil. He, how much they bought per two mil? I was like, I get it. Because he's expensive. So I get it. But I was like, I uh, know. Mm -mm. I'm going to need him to do it for me. Because it's his job to give me one. Okay, so I'm going to look for it. Because I'll buy that. Because I, I'll buy that next month. I'll buy it next month. Because I promise you, I was irritated. I was like, really? Yo, shit, $200 a bottle? I can't get a discussion? And his shit better be good. I'm, and I'm just saying, and this is just in general. When I'm spending $200, $200 plus for a bottle for some, I need that shit to like ring off of me. I need that shit to make me, it needs to sing. Any When I would put that shit on, it needs to sing off of me. It needs to make me feel like I'm just going to burst out in the song. I just really do. I need to feel like I'm going to burst out in the song and be like... I'm be dancing and shit because this shit's going to smell good. And that's anything that I pay that much for. I just need, that's what I need. I need to, I need it to make me feel. That's what I'm saying, Mario. A lot of them aren't putting them up. And it's like, come on now. Give me give me some samples. Give me some samples. Because that's the way you get people to buy. Yes, some of us will blind buy. I'll blind buy some shit. But at $200, I just really can't afford to like blind buy at that point. I will blind, I will blind buy some shit. But I ain't, I ain't doing that. Okay, she's done. So these two are done. I got two done. Yay. And I gotta make samples. Cause okay, because I know you you that guy and everything, but I need you to, you know. Yeah, he has a really nice site. And somebody was talking about him and was and we're discussing what is this? Oh, that's something else. Do I have enough of these things? Shit, do I have enough today? I have some more coming. But I don't think, but they haven't gotten here yet, of course. Um, <coughs> you know, um, his price point is very luxurious because he's well known in the fashion industry. You know, because he got that luxurious pricing. He got that luxurious um, pricing. I gotta work on my not ranting. <laughs> I'm work on not ranting. And I'll be like, these motherfuckers right here, right here, this some bullshit. <laughs> oh, this is what I'm 
dark cherry and amber. I love this stuff. Oh my goodness, this is like my favorite. No, wild cherry I love, and then, and dark cherry. They're both of the wild cherry is a brighter cherry. This is definitely a deeper cherry. Love them both. I can more this this year. I need to. I need to bust out some stuff. I need to bust out some stuff. Because, you know, you start getting new things. And that's the problem when you buy. And that's why I need to slow down purchasing. Because you don't really wear the stuff you have as much. Because you got the new shiny. So you get out the new shiny. And then you're wearing that. And you're wearing that. And you're wearing that. And then the other stuff that you really like. Kind of like, sister going. You know, like um, Toy Story. And then me out there like um, Buzz Lightyear. You're like, hello. Do you still love me? You know, the Buzz Lightyear effect. All right, I'm high on fumes. <laughs> I'm gonna finish these. I'm gonna tell y'all the rest of it. I'm gonna be decanting probably tomorrow morning by myself because I'll get through them real quick. I'm just gonna show y'all the rest. Oh, I'm gonna do Essence Absolute real quick though. That'll be easy. Um, I'll show y'all the rest of it. I'm decanting and we'll talk so y'all can see what people are buying. Bonsoir, healthy sense. Bonsoir. Hi, Marilyn. Hi. Well, yes, you're only late in context. You know, we might be on here for a little bit longer. Who knows? There's a bunch of us on here. We ain't got nothing to do. It's a snow day. We can sit here and talk for a little bit longer while I, you know, finish up some stuff. I mean, I try. Yo, Shiri, I've never seen you. Yo, Shiri. Oh, well, thank you. You have a great week, too. Honey, life is always happening. That's the thing. Life happens. Life happens. Life happens. Life happens. And we just got to keep doing. Oh, speaking of things, who's watching WandaVision? Disney Plus has got our money over here. I've been watching WandaVision. I should have known you watching it, Karen. Okay, so I finally almost caught up on the Marvel Universe. I was a little bit behind on the on the Marvel Universe. Um, listen, I hadn't even seen Endgame yet. So I finally watched Endgame since we got Disney Plus. And I watched Soul. Oh, my God. Um, that was so good. Yes, yes. I'm, I had to catch up. I watched uh, Captain Marvel. I hadn't watched her. Um, so I was watching a few of them. Age of Ultron. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. So I was. So I'm caught. I'm almost. Yeah. Soul was so good. Soul was so good. It was. Yeah. It. It wasn't for kids though. Soul was not for kids. That was definitely an adult animated movie because that was not for kids at all. I mean, the whole vibe of it was not for kids that was for us to watch and it was it was so good it was oh i was i loved it matter of fact i gotta uh put the disney plus on my tv now Cause, yeah because because i didn't know what to i was like okay it was much better than i thought it was gonna be but i must say like Disney, like the animated movies that come out now are pretty darn good. You know, I, there's, you, they really they really put some thought and effort into the, these movies. No, I haven't, because I heard it's about Fred Hampton and stuff. And I know that's a hard thing for me to watch because it's, honestly, it's hard for me to watch stuff like that because it makes me into a very bad space. So, uh, and I know enough about that story. Um, you know, uh, I'm aware of that story because I'm from Chicago and everything. So, and, um, you know, I've read up on the Black Panthers and all that kind of stuff a long time ago. Um, when I was young, I was reading up on the Black Panthers and, you know, um, reading Elaine Brown's book and, um, you know, Stokely Carmine. I read up on all of those people. So, I... It takes a lot out of me to watch this stuff, so I don't know if I'm watching. 
It makes me very angry. Now, I think it's perfect for some people. Um, I think it's good for people um, that aren't that aren't aware as aware about those things as that. Um, but I don't because it takes too much out of me. Um, so it's not like I'm not aware. I don't understand the stories. I don't, you know, I understand quite a bit about those stories. So I, I just don't. I still haven't watched One Night in Miami. I've been meaning to watch that, but like I said, some of them, they take the, they take a lot out of me sometimes to watch those type of movies. Um, make me angry. I'm angry and I'm just right. So I'd be like, okay, okay, let me, let me, let me breathe into this one. So that's kind of why I try not to watch it. Just being honest. Not to say that they're bad movies or anything. It's just they're so emotionally wrought um, that it's hard for me to watch them. Yeah, yeah. It's just it takes too much out of me. Um, Right, see, that's why, I, you know, and um, okay, okay. But so, yeah, I'm not. Now, what I do like, um, because you know, you know what that was so funny, and this is serious, and then I do say, say this with all honesty. I think that people who have young people in their households do need to um, have them watch these type of movies and things like this and have those conversations. Um, yeah. Um, because so many of our young people really don't understand our history. And so they do need to know that. They need to see those things. They need to read about them. You know, I, re I read books on that. You know, my family, we were reading, you know, I had books up from the depths. You know, I read, you know, the autobiography of Malcolm X when I was in seventh grade on my own, you know, things like that. And, you know, my sister had it, so I read it. So those are the things that, you know, I was aware, you know, I've read, I know why the cage bird sings and, you know, Maya and all that stuff before it became popular. So, but I think it's time for us to like be realistic with ourselves and we need to start doing those things with our young people because they don't know. They don't know. I kid you not. I was in a suburban school. They were having a Black History Month um, thing, right? And no one knew uh, uh, the, the Black National Anthem. They didn't know Lift Every Voice and Sing. You know, the whole, other than the kids that they taught the song to, this was a high school. They did not know Lift Every Voice and Sing. And I was looking around like, are you, is this serious? This is, this is our children. So we wonder why our kids don't identify and don't let, re, respect elders. Don't do, when we don't even teach them basic shit, like lift every voice and sing. They didn't know the damn song. Yeah, Black History Month in schools is so is a joke. It really is. It's really sad. And it's even in my school. And I said next year I'm gonna do better myself. This year is just off because you know we at home and I just I'm it's been a rough, you know, it's, we're doing a lot. But in the school, no, not even the first verse. No, they didn't know lift every voice and sing till earth and head. Nope, they did not. They didn't even know the first verse. They was all just looking around like, what is this? And I was I was so saddened by it. It just really made me sad to see that. Right. It was like, wow. And so we must, we must like, listen, Jesus ain't gonna be singing that. He's gonna be singing it, singing it.
He gonna be able to sing that song, trust me. Yeah. Nope. So, and, and you see that a lot, though. See? Well, so I'm going to tell y'all, I really am not a Kwanzaa person. And here's why I'm going to tell you that. Because I read up on Ron Karenge. So as a woman, I don't like Ron Karenge and his whole politics and his misogyny and everything. So if you understood like who Ron Karenge was, who was the you know, creator of Kwanzaa, I can't, I, I don't fuck with that shit. Cause I, I, I understand who he was as a man and his whole thing was the subjugation of women. He was very misogynistic and he had issues with color and things like that. So I don't, I don't really, and I get, and I understand and I get the concepts of it. But because I have such ambivalence to him as a person, I don't, I don't, I don't do the Kwanzaa thing. Now, I'll go to somebody's Kwanzaa celebration. And, you know, I'll go to a Kwanzaa market and everything. But on a personal level, I've never really been into it because I read up on him years ago when I was young. And I was like, oh, he's an ass. That's like the same. Um, um, Umar, that Umar, whatever his name is, I can't stand him. Oh my God. Between him and Kevin Samuels, I don't know who's worse for <laughs> right now. I mean, Dr. Umar, oh my God. He is such a clown. Oh, let me stop that because somebody might be in him. Let me shut up. So let me stop talking about that man. Somebody might be in here like, hey, I agree with everything he says. So often I find so many people in order to lift themselves up have to bring down other people within their own race. It ain't even just like, you know, hey, let's bring down somebody we don't like. It's just not. We're going to bring down you, you know. Right, he really is. Right, thank you. Right, thank you, Lisa. Right. And the whole high value man thing is such a joke. Baby, it's such a joke. Such a joke. And then you got men going, he speak, wait a minute, I was in, I'm in a fragrance group. Um, I'm in one of them fragrance groups. Why was somebody holding his ball so hard? They had to do a whole post about Kevin Samuels, about how he's such a good, you know, he know what he's talking about. And, you know, he's a style, he's a. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lisa. You know, um. He, you know, because he was this and this and this, and you know, he know he's he he's talking it. Yes, the high value man. And here's the thing: is that honestly, there are the the being a high value man is about income, as far as it says. It doesn't say about you as a man. You know, it doesn't say it's a high. Uh, see, a high value man to me, yeah, okay, that's nice. He makes some money, but he can be an asshole. He can be a misogynist. He can be an abuser. All of them things, right? But he, because he makes some money, he got a good professional. You know, he's he professional. He got some profession that y'all consider high value. He's a high value man. No, no, no. High value is about being intelligent, being honest, being compassionate. Right? I'm like, 
And I mean, and then he got mad. Um, and then the guy got mad because I was like, why are you talking about this in here? Don't nobody give a damn about Kevin Samuels. I mean, he did a whole big ass post about this man. I was like, why? And did somebody like somebody told me, say, you really holding his balls. You know what I'm saying? You you really holding him nuts hard because oh, he don't even know your ass. Right. So everyone is high value to someone. And if that ain't the truth, one of the most truthful statements ever. If that ain't the truth. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to um, take a breath because I, I got a whole lot going on up in here. Oh, I'm going to do this one because this is a pour out. Um, last one I'm going to do is um, Essence Absolute. This is the last one I'm decanting. I've sold out. I'm not selling anymore. I mean, I have the bottle, the 30 mil, but this is my refill. of it. Mm -mm, Y'all can't have no more. It's gone. It's over. So anybody who wanted it from me. Hi, Sabrina. Oh, we, we, we've done so much. I've decanted. I'm going to talk about what else I'm decanting. What I'm going to do later on so y'all can see what else people have bought recently. Um, we're talking, And then we just started talking about, um, you know, Kevin Samuels and Umar Johnson and the rest of that crew, the, 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 the lame-ass crew. Because if that ain't some lame shit, a high value man. And somebody said in, wait a minute, and then somebody said in the post, well, I'm a high value man. It's like your old ass, he, he, he had to be in his 50s. This is my thing. And I need these, I'm single and I'm a high value man. I need all these old ass men who call themselves high value men. If your ass is by yourself and you fit late 40s, early 50s, um, um, you about to be a, you're going to be a high value. You better be high value. Cause what, like I always say, when you break that hip and you ain't got nobody to look out for you, you better have that money to pay that young girl to take care of your ass. And that's the thing. That's what he's talking about. You know, he's, what he's talking about is getting with young girls pretty much. Cause that's what the, he going to do. He going to wind up with some young girl. You know, he better he better get his value together. So because I, I promise you, I know two, I know men who this shit is biting them in the ass right now, running around thinking they so wonderful. Oh, you know, no man, 60 years. Well, he's in his 60s now. Was six years old dealing with prostate cancer, then had nobody there for him. Cause he's so busy he's talking about he don't need a woman. Ah, oh, women, all that relationship shit. And I can just have all these women. I don't need this. Who was there for him while he was sitting at home by himself dealing with prostate cancer? Nobody. Because all the women that he didn't, didn't bother with, now they're, they found, they've gotten with somebody. Then I know somebody who literally had a stroke, 50 years old, had a stroke. Had a stroke. Who's looking out for him? His best friend. Why? Because y'all so busy thinking that, oh, you know, I, I'm, I'm too good. Ooh, look at how dark this juice is your ass by yourself and that's a lonely space to be in and usually those high value men are assholes so they friend you know unless they friends and and like i told my friend he was like you know one time he was like um yeah you know my boat we talking i said oh y'all having the he-man woman haters club i said guess what you're gonna keep having that until your friends find a woman and then they're gonna be gone fucking while you sitting up here talking about how you don't like women on your boat how you don't need a woman in your in your life. Every time, you know, that's don't nobody want to be by themselves like that. For real, for real. And so while they sitting up there talking about how wonderful they are and how they have so much and how you know people don't, you know, understand. Okay, well what what I do understand is as you get older, our health declines. <laughs> and you ain't made and you have not made any provisions for somebody to care about you so while you high valuing it out there and the young girls they gonna they gonna care about you as long as that money's right not all of them gonna fall in love with you oh yeah it's very condescending very condescending and so it's like so um what you gonna do now because I'm telling you, I done seen that happen. I'm like, that ain't nothing pretty. 
And what one of my friends is 50 with no children. He ain't even got grown children who gonna look out for him. I'm like, dude, you done really fucked up. You better find you a woman soon. Cause you ain't got kids. Who would you? you and he's the only child. So I was like, oh, okay. Your ass gonna be out here by yourself. By yourself wondering why, you know, you're gonna be off in some damn, you're gonna be at somebody's home. Ain't nobody gonna be there to look out for your ass. But okay, I digress. So anyway, let's talk about the rest of the stuff I have out here that people have asked me for since I've been decanting. And don't forget the decant sale is on until Friday, 20% off, 20% off. Yeah, I'm about to get off in a few minutes. So let's just talk about the last few. I'm going to show y'all the rest of the stuff I have out that people are ordering in case you want to know anything about them. And I think I'm going to make me some kettle corn because all I've had is bacon today. I know this is like crazy. Let's see what that's here. All right. So this is what I got out. Let me show you what I got out. I have out. We was talking about Girl of Now Shine. Somebody has ordered Girl of Now Shine to try. Boom. And I'm almost. See how much I made? This is 100 mil. You see how much it's gone? So I'm almost done decanting this one. I have La Entre D. I think this is the last one on this one too. Um, this is the intense version. This is Ooh, this is a sweet vanilla tuberose. Then of course, classic Oud Bouquet. I won't be I won't be decanting this one for much longer because you can see where my juice is. So this I think I have one more. Good girl gone bad. Oh, fresh. Somebody's looking for. Um, hey, Lisa, thank you. Okay, well, I got to remind me. I got to put it up that we're going to be talking tonight. This is a beautiful. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah you got to take breaks with that kind of stuff. Um, this is a beautiful. Um, good girl. Gone, this is like summertime. Good girl. Because it's got that aquatic note. Speaking of him. I was having my one-on-one -on -one with my coach at work. <laughs> and he jumped up from out of nowhere. She never seen him do that. She almost jumped out of her skin. She was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, that's Malachi. No, I was in class. And it was a... Uh... And so she was like, she almost jumped out of her skin when she saw him jumping up on there. I was like, oh, yeah, it's just a cat. So, okay, so then we have that. Then we have Deluxe. Somebody wants to try Deluxe, which is the, right, he, right. He was just like, let me let me get her in order. So Deluxe, which is, of course, Intense Cafe, but better. I still, I might get Ristretto. I haven't decided yet. So this is the, you know, Coffee Rose Vanilla vibe. Coffee Rose Vanilla. Somebody wants to try Papora. Papora. Which is the, um, this is that spicy, this is not a rose for everybody. This is a spicy, sexy rose. It's sexy as hell, but it's definitely, mm -hmm. it doesn't have any um, vanilla. It's not sweet. It's just spicy mm -hmm. and rose, baby. Spicy and rose. Ani. Ani. Now, this one is actually the whole bottle I'm decanting because I was able to get another, a good buy on it. Uh, it's sweet. It's sweet. It's, it's got sweetness in it. Um, Nishani. Ooh, this is ginger. Yes. So that's good. Um, intense Tiari, which is, let me just spray up again. The lights right out in a minute. Let me just spray up again. I want to get this toward the end of the summer. Oh my goodness. This is like, oh man, this is like coconut floral oh this is so good um let me see what else oh i got um out la danza de la la la, la which is this beautiful apple pie kind of vibe apple vanilla a little 
I get the lemon in it though. So it's like a citrusy vanilla and then I kind of get that apple kind of vibe to it. So it's like a, a citrusy um, apple pie to me. It's like a, a, a apple pie with lemon. Why are you on my desk? Get off my desk. Get your, come on, get your paws off. Okay. Oud for glory. Because why get oud for greatness when you can get oud for glory? And that's just being honest. Try them both. You might as well get oud for glory um, and save yourself all them coins. Mira Magnificat. Y'all know I love Magnificat. Mm. I just put this on too because I had forgot to put this on the list. So this just got on the list. And then of course, Mirabelle, which is that boozy black time. It's very milky. It's boozy milk. Mm -hmm. It's boozy milk. <sighs> boozy milk. Oh. Yes, it is good. It is good. It is good. All right, so I'm about to get off. I'm about to take me, make me some popcorn. And for members, I will put it back up so y'all will see it again. We have a member chat at 7 p.m. And we need to catch up. I need to tell y'all some wild ass stories. I think every time, okay, here's what I think I do think I'm gonna do for the member chat. Every member chat that we have will have one wild Lulu ass story. Y'all can decide what kind of story y'all want. Some of y'all know what to ask for because they're gonna help y'all out. Some of them will help y'all out because they know some of my stories. But we will have one wild ass Lulu ass story that I cannot. <laughs> Let me think of one that I could tell y'all today. I think I'll start it with Dean Peabody. He's always a good place to start. So I think we will have the Dean Peabody story tonight. <laughs> no judgment. That's all I'm going to say. We, we need Dottie just to come back. I've been trying to get her to come back and do a stream with me. Because I was going to put her on stream yard. She, I told her she didn't even have to come over and we could do it. Uh, yeah, but she definitely had to be a member chat too because she knows too many of my damn secrets. <laughs> we can talk over here about the fun, the stuff that's okay for, for you know, for this side. But yeah, she knows all my damn secrets. Say bye, Malachi. Say bye bye. But be glad you keep. But yeah, that stream was wild. That stream was wild. I should pull it up. Let me see if I can find it. How do you get a decan? Hi, Chantel. Um, you can either hit me up on IG or send me an email to Aging Gorgeously 2017. My email is um in the e my email is in the description box. Send it, I'll send you the decant list, and then I can show you what you can, you know, see what I got. Place an order and get it this week. Well, I'll send it out this week because I'm still done. How many more do I have to do? One, two is done. One, uh, I only got a few more to do. How many more do I have to do? I got a one, two. Oh, no, that was done. I have to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I got 11 more to do. Yeah, I'll do that like sit up in the morning and do it. All right, y'all. It was good seeing y'all. Some of y'all I'll see later tonight. Um, I don't know. I might be doing something on IG. Hmm. We'll see. That means I got to put makeup on though. Okay, you can do that, Louise, in a little while. All right. Talk to y'all later. Have a great afternoon. Stay safe. Stay warm. If you don't have to go out in the snow, if you got snow going on in your world, stay in the house. Stay in the house. Stay in the house. Stay in the house. Okay? Okay? See you later.